laughs. He thinks he protests too much. Rafe presses a finger to his lips. Shh. To my surprise, Landon answers next, albeit with a healthy dose of sneer. Soup. I control and create fire. Appropriate, right? I often wonder which came first, the fiery personality or the power. Age-old question of chicken and egg. Haya giggles, then wiggles her fingers. I'm a straight-up psych. Nothing like the paranormal princess. The enforcers never would have even considered giving me a call. But I was nothing to spit at, or whatever the phrase is. I snort, but before I can answer for myself, Quinn steps up. Vampire. We all stare, but he doesn't give any more information, and the pinched look on his face doesn't invite answers. It's a ridiculous reaction, especially since we're all dead. I guess prejudice and the fear that comes with it don't die easy. My skin prickles, begging me to speak up as he squirms under the group's stares. I figure redirecting their attention is the only way to save him. Good thing I've got a pretty weird story. I'm a witch who can see the dead, but that's about all I can remember. On top of being life-deprived, as Kaz says, I've also got crippling amnesia. Yasmin presses a hand to her chest. The whore. Were the healers able to help at all? Not really. They said it would take some time. I stab at my mac and cheese. Because we have so much of that. Aya squeezes my forearm. The mind can be a very complicated machine, even without the electrical impulses which we left behind when we died. But maybe we can help. A round of rapid-paced questions might jar something loose. That's what I said, Rafe's grin hits full power. Landon snorts. His go-to emotion, but then strains a little in his chair. That's not actually a terrible idea. I gasp and cover my mouth. He approves. I'm in shock. It's a better idea than the one you had in the woods, Landon sneers, and I roll my eyes. Rafe lifts his brows. What happened in the woods? This genius was attacked by one of the twisted, Landon says. She then decided to stand and stare stupidly at it instead of running. Even reached out to it like she had an afterlife death wish. Aya's entire form flickers as her eyes go wide. You are attacked. I flick a strand of floating air out of my face. Not attacked. I really don't think it wanted to hurt me. Land and glares. The twisted don't want anything. They can't think. And the next time one gets anywhere close to you, grow half a brain and run. Arms crossed, I return his narrow-eyed expression. Right. So we just leave them crying out in pain like that. Sounds like an awesome plan. Because you can help them, Landon asks. Flames flicker off the top, tips of his fingers and red dinges his body. I knew you were a stupid blonde, but I didn't think you were that arrogant. Dude, back off. Rafe's jaws tight and his dark brows low. With a growl, Landon pops up from his chair, hauling his tray up with him. Whatever. He jabs a finger at me, but suggestions like that get people hurt. So do us all a favor and don't talk about stuff you don't understand. 